but um, it just takes more and more women and people really and whatever gender you are um, to just stand in yourself, you know, to just know who you are, be authentic, be accepting of yourself, know your worth, and just very matter of factly be in that. And, and the, everyone's at different levels with that. And, you know, there's different reasons why we're at different levels with that. But um, again, it goes back to you knowing yourself and what is the energy you're bringing to any situation and what's, what's the intention, right? If you're, if you're coming to a situation where you're trying to make the other people feel bad or um, uh, cause the situation to become more negative rather than positive, like you want to use your power for good, right? You want to use your passion and your um, assertion to contribute to something positive, not to destroy something or to destroy someone or to make a situation messier or worse. You want to try to be the solution. And so I think if you are able to own your power and bring solutions, and, you know, you might have to stand firm, but as long as people, you know, people will know if you're coming from a good place and trying to do it you know, for the benefit of all, or just protecting yourself, which is understandable too. There's that's respect for yourself. So yeah, I mean, the problem is too, is, you know, we're, we're, we're dysfunctional people working for and raising dysfunctional people. So everyone's got their work to do on themselves. And unfortunately, Again, like I said in the beginning, we spend most of our time at our jobs or working with people. And so it gets, it can get very messy. People are messy. And, and, but that's why I kind of come back to taking responsibility for your own energy, for your own um, talents, gifts, and abilities, for your own boundaries, for your own um, trajectory um but also understanding that everyone's in their own place in their own journey and may or may not have dealt with some of their issues so to be as compassionate with people without you know being a victim or anything right be compassionate for, for people um there's a saying you know be kind everyone is um fighting their own battles so you never know what someone's going through so it's not always about you so you gotta remember that too you know being a human's tricky dealing with people are tricky okay it's not black and white okay but that's why you know coming back to yourself as much as possible taking those breaths knowing yourself taking responsibility you know that's that's the work of our lives you know to be the best humans we could be and then, then, then we bring that our best human to our workplaces or our homes or whatever. And the more of us that can be our best humans, the more that's how we're going to change everything, right? So. I love it. I love it. I think uh, this will be the call for action for our for the end of our uh, uh, fireside chat today. Be the best human, right? Bring your best humanity to whatever situation that you are at. Uh, and then, you know, use this as your superpower, right? Um, to be the best human. Uh, all right. So uh, in this fashion, with this inspirational thought, uh, we have arrived at the end of our chat. Thank you so much, Christina. It's my pleasure. Thank you.